How's it? Today is Friday, May 24th. I'm straightening my priorities. Um, in spite of that statement, sleep last night was a 5 out of 10. I went to sleep quite early, to be honest. I was probably in bed by 10.30-ish. I fell asleep relatively quickly, but it was really on and off for, I don't know, four hours. I woke up probably five different times during the night, and I don't know why. I don't know if it was um, because I needed to use the bathroom and, like, I was hungry. I, I don't know. It was just really strange. Um, I ended up sleeping quite a bit, but... Again, quality of sleep was just not great. I did go like last night. I went to um, I went to Din Tai Fung, got some uh, dumplings. That shit was so good, and like I, I was like basically, all right, this is the end of the night. Like I, I can't I can't do anything else because I'm so tired, and I I went to sleep. Um, and then I woke up this morning at like what seven ish. And I was like, okay, should I go back to sleep? Because I was planning to to be awake, be at the gym, you know, nine-ish or so. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel not as rested as that amount of sleep would suggest I would be. It is what it is, but today I ended up doing six for six on all of my lifts. So that's really positive. Uh, it was kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie like snatching 95 is is essentially 95 percent of my my best snatch you know i mean i of course i uh, i snatched ooh, look at how good that looked i snatched um 107 right before i went to japan so technically 95 is not 95 percent but in my head 100 kilos is is one of those weights that i miss probably just as many times as I make it so for me it's like if if that is the case then that is not going to be super reliable to like push beyond that and use a higher number as my my actual weight that I'm lifting you know um all that to say is that 95 is hard and I I was happy that I made them all today uh, I made all my cleaning jerks as well <laughs> um the 125 was a bit challenging i feel like my wrist I, I i feel like i tweaked it a little bit with my my jerks um yeah it is what it is i'm, I'm pretty happy that i didn't miss any of the jerks because you know a long long time ago it used to be if i can make the clean then i'm making the jerk no matter what uh, and now it's more like uh if i make the clean eh, i might make the jerk i don't know here's my first set of 95 uh, very, very behind the bar uh, at extension. Behind the bar? Yeah, behind the bar at extension, I, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm watching it in real time when, like you guys are. So if you pause it and, and go back and then tell me if I am or not. But it was very like hip throwy on that first one. Second one was uh, almost an overcorrection. So it was a little bit further forward in my center of gravity. I still made the lift, so it was fine, right? <clears throat> and then I believe this one is better than both of them. Nope. I remembered wrong. A little bit forward on that one. Um, one thing that I, I was talking to Cassidy about um, a couple days ago was with the um, snatch specifically. It's like if you can get positionally better, closer to your center of gravity, then you don't necessarily need to get the bar, bar as high. If that makes sense. Like like think about like your lateral spacing if you can think about moving the bar one inch less f forward and backwards so like the range is one inch less so half an inch on either side um then that means you your body has to move less half an inch on either side like forward and backwards so that means that you don't need to necessarily get the bar as high because you don't need as much time to get under the bar um yeah, that's one of those things that I, I think about quite often. Here's my first set for my cleaning jerks. Cleans are just kind of whack. I probably should stop doing my stupid um, 60, 125 warm-up. 
I probably should do an actual warm up. Uh, but you know, I'm probably not gonna do that. <laughs> um, my, I, I mean, I was rewarded today with no misses. Um, that's that's a very 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 silly way of looking at things, but I don't know. <laughs> I I will probably warm up a lot better next time. I got I do more warm up weights on the Wednesday, so I don't understand why I don't do them on the Friday. Well, I definitely do understand. Uh, look at this. I almost died here. I walked completely off the platform, and then I was like, uh oh. The good thing I put the rack like like three or four steps ahead of the the platform. Because if I didn't, then that would have been bad news all around. <laughs> um, but that's still technically a make. You know, you have like, what is it? Uh, I don't even know what the distance is on the platform. I think it's like three meters each direction. No, it has to be more than that. I, I don't remember. Um, but it's a big ass square, right? So the small platforms, the training platforms are definitely not com competition size. So take that what you will. Um, that's my last rep there. But, yeah, I think, I mean, even, like, kind of going back to that technique thing that I was talking about, if you can get closer to the bar and you don't have as much forward and backward um, displacement, then you don't need to get the bar as high. And and similar thing is true on the clean and jerk. So a lot of the times when, when I see people who who are, like, beginning lifters specifically, they, they tend to either, one, overcorrect and try to keep the bar as close as possible to them so then they have no extension or or two they get crazy extension and then the bar kind of moves um, forward and backwards quite a bit and like there is a happy medium right in the middle of those two things that will make you a much more efficient lifter um it, it's like adding a little bit of extra effort right at extension to give yourself a faster turnover a faster extension or sorry a faster um extension to point of fixation and it's it's something that I I feel like is pe people don't think about um, until it until it's absolutely necessary, um, which sometimes it's not because sometimes people are just naturally efficient lifters, um, but sometimes it's it's like okay like you're plenty strong, you can do the you can hit the position that that you are the most powerful in, um, and then you just somehow miss the lift and it's it's well in my head. Like, there are a lot of ways to diagnose different issues, but that's one of those things that I'm not saying I'm unique or anything, but nobody's really pointed that out to me in the past, and I just kind of figured it out on my own, like, five, six years ago when I started, like, getting really into training. But, yeah. Um, did my uh, two triples at 130 front squat, so I'm aiming to clean and jerk 130 next week. We'll see if that's reaching. I, I have no idea. Uh, finished off with some pull-ups and some GHD sit-ups and yeah that was it like five out of ten sleep three for three lifting or sorry six for six lifting I don't know five out of five accomplishment <laughs> I guess um, I feel pretty good with today um, but that's it for today thank you for watching shoots